Hey, boss, good to see you online. Now, if you remember several lessons ago, I mentioned that I'm going to take a lot of videos on revision, on past paper, and also explanation of your homework. So, this is the first video that we will be coming, many videos coming along the way. All right. Now, this video, what we are going to talk about, in fact, not the revision for chapter one and chapter two. Basically, chapter one and chapter two, so many things happening. So many things not worth wasting time on. What we are going to talk about is a special note. I have not given you this note in our lessons, all right? So you can find this note on our Schoology website in the exam technique folder, all right? Now, as you can see on the screen, what we're going to talk about on this in this video, opportunity cost, all right? Opportunity cost. As I've mentioned again and again, this is the topic that is going to be very important, not just in your Form 4, not just in Form 5, not just in Form 6, but also in your DSE examination. In fact, every year, you can expect to find at least one short question and at least part of long questions concerning opportunity cost. And unfortunately, judging from your homeworks and your tests, well, we aren't doing so well. So let's not waste time here, all right? Now, before we start, you need two materials on the Schoology website in the exam, exam technique folder. First, you need this, this one. This one. I think it's named something like the OC technique, something like that, all right? Now, second one, you also need a separate folder. In a separate folder, I've also put up a flowchart, something like that. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've also put up a flowchart, something like this. Now, this is basically a summary, a summary of how to tackle questions related to opportunity cost. I've listed all the different possibilities, or 100%, no other possibility here, all right? So, in order to facilitate this video, I advise you, to print this page separately and always refer to this page when we talk about it. All right? If no questions, let us move on. Now, we all remember the definition. Now, first, the definition. Let me zoom in a little bit. Yes. Here, 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 here. Mm. Yes. Now, we all remember what is opportunity cost? To put it in a simple way, opportunity cost basically means something that you need to give up, all right? You need to give up. You need to give up. But it is also, now, this one is very important. Most of you are missing even in your homework too, all right? It's the value that you have to give up, all right? You have given up, the value you have given up, and not just any value, but we are talking about among all the options that you have given up, is the highest one, all right? Not just any value, but the highest value, all right? So we all have to remember this definition. Now, when we tackle questions related to opportunity cost, the first step, my recommendation. You always make the questions, format it into a so-called preference list. 將它變成一張list啊。第一,我想做咩嘅,之後我想做咩嘅, alright? It's always the easiest to do that. We will know that from all the illustration, illustrations below, alright? Now, what I mean by preference list, now, very similar, something like this. First preference, we have X. Second preference, we do Y. Third preference, we do Z. Something like that. This is what I call a preference list, all right? Now, the advantage of a preference list is that, very clear, let's say, let's say this one is your chosen option. Then, from a list point of view, you immediately know. Now, you have this two, uh, the first one, your chosen option. Now, we are only concerned with the options we have forgone. So why not just cover this up? 
and then we have two options remaining, Y and Z. All right, these are our foregone options, and obviously, at least the higher it is, this one will be our highest valued option for gone. All right, very clear, very easy. All right, so we try to stick to preference list. Let's use some examples to illustrate our point. All right, the first question here, you see, first question is a question from 2010. Actually, question two. I don't quite remember whether this is an MC. I think this is an MC, actually. Yeah, MC, this one. Now, it says, Julie is choosing between Hong Kong and US to complete her university education, all right? Her opportunity cost of choosing to study in the US will increase. Now, immediately here, we have two options. We have both Hong Kong and we have US, all right? We have two options here. Now, if the question tells you she is choosing to go to US, immediately we know the first preference here, first preference would be to study in the US, all right? First, basically means, uh, no, not always, not always, most of the time, all right? Most of the time, it means the chosen option, all right? Chosen, 第一个啊, 通常都是拣我, all right? So we list it in this way. First, we choose to go to US. So the second preference would be to study in Hong Kong. So the opportunity cost, you see, of studying in the US would be the value. Don't miss this out. Remember, value of studying in Hong Kong, all right? You take the first one, which means you have to give up the second one, all right? Very easy. Let's move on to the next example, all right? Next example here. Uh, this one, we have actually gone through it in our lessons. All right, now, here, four options. A piece of land can be used to do one of the four things, all right? One of the four things. Now, because time is running short, I've already listed it in a view, uh, in a list view for you. Now, first preference, high speed railway, go to that, all right? Second, highway, then tunnel, then cultural hub, it says here, all right? Now, of course, of course, normally, normally, now, I, I'm saying normally, right? First, normally, we think, ah, normally, means chosen run. Chosen one, right? This is the chosen run. But, boys, remember, look at the question, all right? Look at the questions. Now, I've colored the questions. If the question is asking the opportunity cost of building the high-speed railway, all right? High-speed railway. Then obviously, now, remember, don't be shy. If you've chosen something, cover it up, alright? Cover it up. Now, among the three remaining options, you see, we have highway, we have tunnel, and we have cultural hub. The value given to you already. We take the highest value. 最高价值那个,买七十万, highway, alright? So, the value of the highway, this one, highest among these three, all right? Among these three, this one is the highest. Now, what about, what about if the question very tricky this time, they say, well, the chosen option, instead of building the high-speed railway, we choose to build a highway or a tunnel or a cultural hub, all right? 得噶,冇人話唔得噶。雖然佢價值唔係最高,我可以,係咪可以玩嘢噶?可以叫你揀價值唔係最高啊,冇問題噶,絕對冇問題,alright. Now, in this case, what do we do? Same, let's say, the third one is the chosen option. Now, what do we do? Again, chosen option, irrelevant to the consideration of cost, right? So, this one. 
we cover it up again. Yes, we cover this up. Now, three options that we have given up. Among the three forgotten options, we see that, hey, this time, this one is actually the highest value. All right? By the same token, let's say, for some reason, I choose to build a cultural hub, all right? Among the three options, still the highest value, the first one. So if I cover up the second one, still the same. All right, so you see in your notes here, I say, no matter you pick second, third or fourth, the highest value, the opportunity cost will be the same, exactly the same, which is the value, this one, of the high speed railway all right not difficult so you see when you put the options in a list views actually things are quite simple all right now you may be thinking about a question no more mr chen these two questions i can make it into a list because there are more than one options now what about when sometimes the question doesn't give you other options. What do we do? Now, let's turn to the next page. What do we do? Now, I've written here. If no second option is given, we need to add an option for it, all right? The option is actually not doing the first option, all right? Not doing the first option. Very easy, all right? Once you understand the principle, very easy. For example, we look at 2016, question 3 here. It says, Mr. Ng, Mr. Ng, a Hong Kong citizen, is going to travel to Tokyo for leisure. Which of the following will decrease his cost of having the trip? So, we put it into a preference, preference list. Obviously, he is going to Tokyo. So, this one is the chosen option. We put it in the first preference. Now, what about the second preference? Remember, above I said, if no other options, we add not doing that as a second option. So here you see, not traveling, not traveling to Tokyo. Now, I just give you some example. Maybe staying in Hong Kong, all right? Maybe, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe something like that, all right? Now, one more, one more, we practice one more. This one, now this one a little bit more complicated. It says the government proposed to raise the toll of Cross Harbor Tunnel, Hong Soya, Gaga, so as to lessen the traffic congestion. Now, it says once the toll fee has been increased, it asks whether the opportunity cost of drivers using the tunnel will increase. So, Let's put it into a preference list, all right? Preference list. First preference, obviously, the chosen option, using the tunnel. Now, second preference, of course, not using the tunnel. For example, now, I, I make it up. Stay home to study econ, something like that, all right? Something like that something like that all right so when you put it into a list things become so much clearer because it is so easy to identify the highest valued option for god all right so this is pretty much the first step in our very robust flow chart all right now you see when we follow the flow chart, all right, flow chart, we see that this is only our first step. So it's time to go to the second step. But now you see, second step. Actually, there are three branches of second step. We can be talking about change in the chosen option, a change in the best alternative option, or a change in the other options. All right, so. Let's look at it one by one. Now, let's move on to the next page. 
Here, you see, step 2A. Let's say some questions. It says that, well, there is some changes. There are some changes related to the chosen option. Now, as a general rule of thumb, all right, the opportunity cost will increase. When there is an increase in three things, of course, when I say increase, you can also try to reverse it into decrease and decrease, all right? No need to teach you. You are old enough, all right? Now, first thing, when the money required changed or the time required, and the final one, I think this one the hardest, when the risk increases, all right? Now, now, when you look at it, you say, Mr. Chen, wait, my watcher, well, when you think about it, this one, we call it monetary cost. Now, these two are our non-monetary uh, mo non costs, all right? Now, these two together, we call it full cost. Right? Very simple. You should remember that. Alright? Basically, what I'm saying here is that when the full cost of the chosen option changes, obviously the opportunity cost will change. Now, the next sentence. Any change in the benefit concerning the benefit of the chosen option. Remember, benefit nothing to do nothing to do with opportunity cost very easy i don't explain all right now let's look at some example here ah you see this example we just talked about two minutes ago all right so you remember the story hong soi ga ga la all right trophy increase now it says Opportunity cost of the drivers using the tunnel will increase. All right, now let's think about it. Now we do it again. Now, obviously, the first preference using the tunnel. Now, second preference not using. All right, not using. Now. You see, I say this statement is false, all right? Now, in two ways, if if this is a short question instead of an MC, how do we answer that? Of course, the statement is false. This one, one mark. Remember, stands, it is worth one mark, all right? Worth one mark. All right? So, how do we write the full answer? Now, obviously, by not using it, what can we get back? We can first get back the money. Also, by not using it, we can get back the time of using the tunnel. Red Dead Redemption, right? So you see, the time I can take it back. I can take back the money. I can take back the time by not using it, alright? So, when the toll fee increase, obviously, money cost here increase, alright? Opportunity cost will increase. Now, many non SJC students, you know, LSC students, not good at economics. They will stop here. Oh, you see, opportunity cost increase. So it is correct. But remember, SJC student, Leo Chan student, they are very good. They also remember, no war. We have to think about the full cost. Full cost, we all remember. At least there is time. Now, think about it. When the tunnel, the toll fee becomes higher, less, fewer people will go there. When fewer car travels, when fewer cars travel through the cross harbor tunnel, obviously 
there will be less congestion. Now, this one very important, all right? Many students actually will skip this part. There will be a decrease in congestion, all right? So, the time required will decrease. So, you have to give up less time, all right? Give up less time. So, the opportunity cost will, e will decrease. Now, combining both, you see, one increase, one decrease. So, who increase more? Which one decrease more? How do I know? So, the answer is actually a big question mark here. Uncertain, all right? Uncertain. All right, so if I were you, I would put a star for this question. I think this is a very, very good question for your revision. All right. All right, let's move on. Now, the next question. Now, next question is quite funny, actually. Now, now you see, they, they also give you a preference list form. All right. But please, boys, be careful. Don't say, Oh, first option. This one is the chosen option. Now, this one is wrong. If you look at the question, it's asking, explain whether the opportunity cost of switching to a local firm without overtime, which is your second preference. So, the true chosen one. 真正被選中的小朋友是第二個啊, alright? Second option is the chosen option. Now, we are concerned with part B of this question, alright? It says, if she wants to enjoy more leisure time. Now, in the first sight, you may be thinking, 我都不知道他說什麼。我完全都不知道他說什麼。Now, if you think deeply, Let's think about it. If she enjoys more leisure time, what does that mean? It means she doesn't want... Now, let's say, when she goes to work, when she work, she has to give up. Give up what? Of course, her leisure time, right? Now, if you value your leisure time more, what does it mean? Then it means the value of working will decrease, right? Will decrease, right? Now, look at it. Option one, working. Option two, working. Option three, also working. All three of them are working. Now, we all know, if this is the chosen option, what is the highest value option for God? It would obviously be the first one. Now, the value of first one decrease, right? So what happens to your opportunity cost? No need to explain. Of course, will decrease. All right? Very easy. All right. Now, if you are interested, you can look at uh, how to uh, how to answer this. Now, how to answer this? I don't go through again. All right. One more question. One more question, and we are done with this step. Now, remember now this one. If I were you. Not just one star. This one. Infinite stars, alright? Infinite stars. This one quite clumsy. Now, because this one is all talking about the risk factors. Risk factors, alright? Now, a famous football team, Manchester United, visit Hong Kong for a friendly match. Now, basically what it says, they find that Hong Kong the stadium, super bad. Now, they're asking the question. Now, when they find out the, stadium, the stadium, super bad. Now, we need to know 
whether the opportunity cost will increase or not. Now, let's look at the answer. Here, the answer is actually A is the answer. Let's look at the explanation. It says they will increase because there was a higher chance for the players to get injured. Now, this one, basically what it means, here, here. A, basically saying that risk increases. Now, what happens when risk increases? Let's say, the risk of injury, when risk increases, here, look at it. Risk increase, injury, then let's say you injure yourself. When you get injured, you need to give up a lot of things. For example, you need to give up going back to play English premium. Right? Premier, I'm sorry. Right? 你啊，受伤，搞到你冇得打英超啦。好啦，如果你受伤嘅机会大咗，系咪变咗啊 ？You need to give up even more English Premier. All right， 系咪？你要放弃多咗啊 ？All right， so you see my elaboration here. You give up more time or more expected time. All right， not just the time. When you cannot play the match, you cannot win the money. So you're also missing the money, all right? Missing the money, all right? So Manchester United, actually, their opportunity cost would increase, all right? Now, what about B? B is incorrect because the explanation it says poor performance. Now, if you remember, poor performance. This is about benefit. Of playing in Hong Kong, right? We are talking about the benefits. Now, as you all know, benefit not the same as cost. When we talk about cost, benefit is irrelevant. All right, totally irrelevant. All right. Now, as for C and D, look at it yourself. I don't waste time explaining here. All right. So this is pretty much our first step. When、uh, the first possibility, all right, first possibility concerning changes related to the chosen option, all right. This is basically it. Now let's move on to another possibility, which is I think the easiest possibility, all right. Now, second possibility. If you look at the flow chart, we are talking about. The value of the best alternative changes. All right, changes. Now this one. Remember, opportunity cost, highest value option for gone. When it change, of course opportunity cost will change. All right, of course. All right, 肯定噶啦，唔使问噶啦。No need to explain a lot. So let's look at one question, and we are done. All right, look at one question. Now here, this question. Now, if you have been paying attention. You should know this is one of my favorite questions. I always talk about this. All right, it says Apple launches a new model of smartphone. Now, in order in order to buy the new model, some people they spend hours in trying to log in to、uh, to the website. All right, now if the resale value of the new model falls, how would the opportunity cost here? I modify it, asking two questions. First question. Using the smartphone. Second question: Buying the smartphone. All right. Now, these are totally different things. All right. Now, here, let's look at the answer. Here, A. Using the smartphone. Now, think about it. By using the smartphone. All right. First option. Second option. Then you are giving up the. Not using the smartphone, the value you can gain from not using the smartphone immediately. We can think of some examples. For example, reselling the phone. Reselling the phone. All right. So obviously, 
when the resale value increases, you see, we, we have chosen to use this. So this is our highest value option for gold. Now, this one changes, obviously, opportunity cost will change, all right? Now, let's look at how to answer. You need to learn the structure, all right? First point, every question, you always, you always, <coughs> sorry, now, excuse me. Now, first point, you always state your stance, all right? Am I get you double? And when you are answering questions regarding opportunity cost, now you tell people always like this by doing something, all right? One has to give up something. Say ting to di dum da mo tiu bo. Say ting to go yi yong bo iPhone o zhe yi fon hei. 賣回個iPhone出去的value了 Alright? This is our second step By doing something We give up something else Alright? Second step And then the first step You say Oh When Alright? When A drop Here A drop in resale value then obviously means that the highest value option for gone decreases, alright? So decrease. The first step, this is the third and final step. You say, oh, that are uh, here, yeah, something else. If something else changes, now in exam, don't just say changes. Specify whether it's increased or decreased, alright? Then OC changes again. Don't just use change. You specify increase or decrease. All right. Here you see I have lower drop something like that. State clearly. All right. Now this is the first part. Now how about the second part? Opportunity cost of buying the smartphone. All right. Now to buy the smartphone. You need two things. First, you need to spend hours the time, alright? Now, using your common sense, you know you also need to spend money, right? Hi, man. Alright, so here, now, you may be thinking, no war, Mr. Chen, should be the same as part, as part A, la, right? Have you yet your yet? No, no. Because it is specifically asking the action of buying. Hey, my go ha, legal dong jo adam da. So, resale value has nothing to do with the action of buying. It only has to do with using. All right? Now, you see, here, how do I write? I say, oh, sorry. The value given up by, by, you see, again, right? First step, your stance, right? You say unchanged, stance. Second step, you would always say, by doing, by buying the smartphone, you have to give up the time and money, all right? Now, here, be careful. I'm saying, the money means the buying price. Not the resale price, all right? Not resale price, all right? Now, as there is no change in either, now, this is the first step, all right? Third step. As no change in time or money, of course, it means opportunity cost remain unchanged, all right? Here, no change, unchanged. Done,得,所以,记住,答任何问题,你都知道,是写清楚的,我们的步骤啊, 第一步,你要有你的立場 
。第三步啦，你就讲啦，啊，因为而家个乜嘢升咗或者跌咗，啊，所以啦 ，opportunity cost 就会升或者跌啦，得唔得？永远都系 follow 佢框架，唔好漏，漏咗有机会俾人扣分嘅，得唔得 ？All right， so what a、uh, In fact, one more question. There is one more question. All right. Now, now, now. Look at this. Ah,、uh, this question we have、uh, we have gone through it in our class, but let's look at it again. Now, basically, one, two, three. All right, one, two, three. Now it's asking. Now, ah,、uh, my wall. Ah,、uh, it's actually the same question as the last one. All right, only part A this time. Remember, remember again. This is the chosen option. All right. This is the chosen option, so we know this one will be our opportunity cost, right? It says the military threat from North Korea to South Korea becomes more intense. 佢話啦，原來而家南韓同北韓嘅局勢咧越嚟越緊張啦。So you see, if the threat, military threat, this one. Risk increases. Lah, 开始记得啦，系咪？捉到路啦。Risk increase. It means the value or ah、uh, the ah、uh, yeah yeah the value of that option would decrease, right? 系咪啊 ？Would decrease. Ah,、uh. so you see here, South Korea. You, 哇，仲要去北韩，你仲要去南韩做嘢喎，好危险啦。系咪啊 ？Immediately we know. The value of the first option would decrease. All right, number that. All right, values of the first option. Now, let's try a more complete answer. This is not complete. All right. So, first step, you say the now here because the question is asking whether will necessarily remain unchanged. So you say no. All right, no. All right, no. Then second, you explain by doing the second option. Now I don't write the full one. All right, the highest value option for gone is the first option. All right, is the first option. Now finally, since the value of First option decreases, so now opportunity cost decreases. All right, this is a full answer. All right, full answer. Of course, you may be thinking, "Oh, Mr. Chen, can I write this one? This one, the given one." Of course, you can, provided that you have that English skills. All right, boys, remember again and again. Work on your English. As long as you have this kind of English skills, of course you can write like this. All right. So I think this is pretty much for the second possibility. Now let's move on to the final possibility, and we are done. All right. Now, if you look at the flow chart here, the final possibility we are talking about now. What I mean by other options, something like this. Remember, one, two. Three. I do A. I do B. I do C. We all say, "Ha!、Ah, this one we call the chosen." Then this one, the highest valued option for gone, right? Now, this is what I call the so-called other options. All right, other options. This is it. Other options. Or other options. Just like that. Now, this one is quite clumsy. Clumsy. All right. Quite clumsy. Now. You see the word I say here. May increase, all right? May increase, not must. Now, I will say here. If the other options overtakes, overtakes part of that one, then the opportunity cost will increase. If it doesn't, then remain unchanged. Now, let's look at one example, and then we know. Here, two thousand fourteen. One more question, and we are done. Two thousand fourteen. It says again, one two three option one two three. Now this time, this time it doesn't fake you. You see, the chosen option really this one. 
chosen. The first one is the chosen option. This time won't fake you. All right, won't fake you. Now, for simplicity reason, let's try to put some value there. All right. Now, since this is the chosen one, we assume it is of the highest value among all a thousand, a hundred, a thousand, thousand. All right. Now, second preference, second preference. Let's say is a seven hundred, and final one worth thirty hundred. 300, alright? 是吧? 我們按住他的 preference 作個數給他 1,700,300 Alright? Now, it says Analyze Where does Serene's opportunity cost of choosing to work as an This one A Will necessarily remain unchanged If Part B The government provides Unemployment benefits for all graduates seeking Jobs, all right. Now this one, unemployment benefit. Now, you may be thinking, huh? Gua guai si ya. Now, in fact, unemployment benefit will make the third option. Now, sorry, failure of third option will. I give you two seconds. Two, one, of course increase the value all right so now we have a problem because there are two possibilities all right now first possibility let's say yes it increases but only to 500 all right so this one remember the first one since we have chosen it let's cover this up all right let's cover this up this is the chosen option. Now, originally, this one, 700, is the highest value. Now, 700 versus 500. Oh, you see, it is still the highest value. In this case, no change. No change, all right? What about second case? Second case, let's say this time. Well, they give out a lot of unemployment benefit it becomes this now we have a problem all right because among the chosen options originally 700 versus 300 now we have 700 versus this one 5000 so you see immediately in fact the opportunity cost has increased from 700 to 5,000 all right so you see in this case when the so-called other options changes you have to be really careful you have to think about hmm if it increases increases all right increases it may changes if this one overtakes you see this one overtakes the original opportunity cost, then opportunity cost may increase, all right? May increase, all right? Now, if you want to look at the full answer, it's right here already, so I don't explain, I don't explain. Now, you may be thinking, Mr. Chen, you say, increase here, increase here. Now, can I use the same logic? Change it to, ah, decreases decreases can I do that remember this time unfortunately no all right no using this example again let's say this time instead of increasing the, the benefit this time they actually decrease the benefit so let's say decrease all the way to zero you can get that some but more Thank you.